Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss galactose regulation in yeast cells. Now, this galactose regulation in yeast cells only happens in presence of galactose. So yeast has certain genes which code for enzymes involved in the metabolism of galactose and these enzymes convert galactose into D-glucose 6-phosphate which enter the glycolytic pathway. So if you observe, you have GAL1 gene in yeast which codes for the enzyme galactokinase. Then you have GAL10 gene which codes for galactose transferase. And then you have GAL7 gene which codes for the enzyme galactose epimerase. So these three enzymes are involved in the breakdown of galactose into D-glucose 6-phosphate. Thereafter, D-glucose 6-phosphate enters the glycolytic pathway and is used up in glycolysis. Now apart from these three genes, you have a gene few base pairs upstream which is called as a GAL4 gene which codes for the repressor protein. Now in absence of galactose, this repressor protein binds to a promoter region called as the UASG sequence which is called as the upstream activator sequence or UASG sequence. So in absence of galactose, when galactose is not present in the media, then yeast does not need to break down gal galactose. So what happens? At that case, repressor protein binds to this promoter region which is called as the UASG or upstream activator sequence. Now let us see the detailed process how yeast is regulating. So first you need to understand the galactose metabolized pathway. So the process starts with D-galactose and then the first enzyme that comes is galactokinase which is coded by GAL1 gene present in yeast. Then D-galactose 1-phosphate is formed. Then the action of second enzyme comes which is galactose transferase which is coded by GAL7 gene. This enzyme converts D-galactose 1-phosphate into UDP. D galactose. Then galactose epimerase coded by the enzyme GAL10 gene in yeast converts D galactose UDP D galactose into UDP D glucose. And finally, UDP glucose pyrophosphorylase and phosphoglucomutase converts these intermediates into D glucose 6 phosphate, which enters the glycolytic pathway. So, in this way, the three enzymes coded by the three different genes present in yeast function in the conversion of D-galactose to D-glucose 6-phosphate. Now let us see what happens in pre presence of galactose and when galactose is not present. So the first case is where galactose is not present in the media. So when galactose is not present in the media, yeast does not require to break, the, break down the galactose into glucose 6-phosphate. So what happens? This is the UASG sequence or the promoter region and the uh, repressor protein coded by the gene GAL4. Alright, repressor protein coded by the gene GAL4 as explained before in yeast. This protein product or the repressor is called as the GAL4P. This GAL4P protein along with GAL8P protein binds to this promoter region and stops the transcription of downstream genes. Alright, so here no transcription of downstream genes happen because this GAL4P protein along with the GAL8P protein binds to the promoter region and blocks the access of RNA polymerase to the promoter region. As a result, no transcription of downstream genes happen. Now, what happens in presence of galactose? So, when galactose is present in the media, then yeast needs to produce those enzymes to break down galactose. So, here what happens when uh, the GAL4P product, GAL4P protein product and GAL8P protein product remains bound to the promoter region, here Galactose metabolite comes and these binds to the uh, GAL ATP domains. Alright, so this galactose metabolite comes and binds to the repressor complex. 
as a result this changes the conformation of the gal 4p and gal 80p so as conformation of gal 4p and gal 80p is changed on binding of the galactose metabolite so this complex repressor complex can no longer replace repress transcription as a result transcription of the downstream genes can easily continue and all the intermediate enzymes can be produced bringing about the conversion of D-galactose into D-glucose 6-phosphate. Here you will observe it in more detail. In absence of galactose what is happening? Gal4 Gal4 gene product which is Gal4P dimer binding to the promoter region okay along with the Gal ATP product protein product and here as a result of binding it is uh, hindering the access of RNA polymerase to the promoter as a result transcription of the downstream genes Gal10, Gal1 these genes transcription of these genes cannot continue all right this is happening in absence of galactose now in presence of galactose what happens Previously, Gal ATP and Gal 4P dimer are binding to the promoter region, but now because galactose is present in the media, it is coming, it is acting as an inducer and it is binding to this repressor complex. As a result of this binding, the repressor complex undergoes a change in conformation and this repressor complex can no longer repress transcription. As a result, RNA polymerase has access to all the downstream genes and the transcription of all the downstream genes can easily continue resulting in the production of all the intermediate enzymes involved in the breakdown of galactose.